Note the belt routing. This is typically found in a diagram above the radiator inside the engine compartment. If there is no routing diagram, you can check the back of your belt sleeve. Or else you'll have to observe the old belt's routing and draw your own diagram. Remember, trying to install a new belt without awareness of proper routing can lead to incorrect installation and extend the time to complete the job. Use one of the following tools, a breaker bar, ratchet and socket assembly, combination wrench, or serpentine service tool in or on the tensioner arm lift feature. There are three main types of lift features, 3 8 or half inch square hole, cast lug on the tensioner arm, pulley bolt. On the applications that use the pulley bolt feature, the pulley bolt thread direction right or left is designed to tighten the bolt as the arm is lifted away from the belt. It is important to select the correct size tool and make sure it is fully engaged with the tensioner before attempting to lift the arm. Caution: Take care to place the wrench on the tensioner in a position that will allow the tool clearance as the spring forces the tensioner to the stop. Failure to do so may pinch your hand or trap the tool. Move the tensioner in the direction that provides belt slack. It will only move a limited amount. Continuing to apply torque beyond the limit could strip the threads on the pulley mounting bolt and even break tensioner stops. While holding the tensioner, slip the belt off of the tensioner pulley away from the engine. Unwrap the belt from the remaining pulleys, also moving the belt away from the engine. To remove the tensioner, remove the mounting bolt or bolts, then remove the tensioner from the engine. 